Hi, my name is Tyrone Jackson, and I'm a gay man. I lived in a small town in the Midwest. And sometimes back in then, I felt very alone. And I know you will feel alone sometimes, but no, that it gets better. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better. Hey, I'm John Eric Parker, and I work here in Memphis. And I was raised in Brooklyn, New York. And I was taught never to hit girls. But in fourth grade, I got hit by a girl. And because I didn't hit her back, I got treated to a chorus of for he's a jolly good faggot. I've been bullied. Believe me, it gets better. You have to hang around. You gotta hang around for the good moments. The moments when somebody from your past walks up to you at the stage door and says, oh my God, I'm so proud of you. I knew you had this in you forever. You gotta hang around for the moment when a 13 year old finds a way to contact you and says, I have nobody to talk to and I knew that you were the person that I could talk to. I have no one else. You have to hang around for the good stuff. Believe me, it gets better. It gets better. It only gets better. It gets better. right now and you don't even have to go out and scream and shout and you don't have to tell nobody that you coming out but what you gotta do is really follow to the letter understand my brother it'll get better so just be yourself look in the mirror and follow your heart and soul stay in control don't worry about what them other suckers may soul i try to say to you i try to do to you you got to understand gotta be true to you don't even understand what them folks are saying follow the letter i'm telling you brother it'll get better Yes, better. Hi, my name is Brad Bass. Uh, I'm from Ringgold, Virginia, originally, and I am currently in the Broadway show Memphis. Previously, I did Wicked, and uh, I'm just here to tell you that it, it gets better. I grew up on a tobacco farm in the middle of nowhere. I kid you not, nowhere. They didn't get cable on my street until I was 18. I mean, we had running toilets, but still. Um, and growing up, knowing that I was different, I didn't know what it really was until people started calling me gay. And I didn't know what that meant. All I knew was I liked to dance and I liked to sing and do cartwheels. And I didn't really like baseball very much. Um, but once I realized what that word meant, I learned that it was a bad thing. And all I knew was the way I felt wasn't bad. I just, I felt comfortable with, with feeling things for men. Um, I also grew up in church, which was very difficult thing in my house to be gay. So um, I prayed about it night, night, and day, constantly. To God asking me to take these feelings away, and they weren't going anywhere, you know. So um, I'll never forget just telling God, "You've got to take these feelings away, or you've got to send me a sign that this is okay." I was 14. I have, was wearing a necklace. I don't know why I remember that, but I don't wear jewelry, so except for my wedding ring. My husband gave me this. Um, and I had the necklace in my mouth, and I'd been crying all day. And 
I just looked up at God and I heard him say, you are my child and I love you. Whether it was in my heart or in my head or it didn't happen, and inside I felt like it did. And I knew at that moment that I was okay. And not everybody needs to know. You may have to hide it until you get out, but just be okay with who you are because it gets better. And I'm happy. And I'm married and I have a son. <laughs> How great is that? Um, I hope this helps somebody. If you ever need me, I'm on Facebook. If you need to talk, write urgent in the subject. Um, thank you. It gets better.